Today, I'm going to teach you about the power of flex picks in draft, and what I like to call champion modes. If you don't know what a flex pick is, it is a champion that can be placed into different roles. These kinds of champions can create huge advantages in draft because the opposing team does not know where that flex pick is going to end up. Again, for simplicity's sake, I banned 10 champions that are consistently seen as some of the most powerful meta picks. Imagine my team is drafting from blue side. Let's get into it. First pick on blue side can be tough to decide. I am of the opinion that Karthus is the best champion in the game, outside of the band Zeri and Yumi, because of his simplicity and ability to be flexed in five different roles. Considering this, I choose Karthus on B1. A typical pro team red side first rotation usually sees a power pick ADC along with jungle. In this case, they answer with a Felios and Vi. However, this is an issue already because these champions have different modes. Vi can only go in and usually dives on the enemy backline, but Aphelios wants to kite back and loves it when champions come into him. This is where champion modes and themes come into play. These differences being established this early in the draft does not bode well for red side and will create an inherent dysfunction in what the champions want to do inside the game. To answer, I know that red side is likely to pair Aphelios with an enchanter to increase his survivability, probably a Lulu or Soraka. With this in mind, I choose two champions that can match the range of such champions while also pairing well with Karthus, thus Ezreal and Karma. You can see through this first pick phase, blue side has three matching themes champions with range, poke, disengage, and scaling, while red side is conflicted with Aphelios and Lulu wanting to kite with range and Vi wanting to dive in. Keep in mind that Karthus is a flex pick and is not guaranteed to go jungle. For a blind pick solo lane, red side locks Scion, who is a consistent front line to create space for Aphelios. This pick does pair better with the bot lane, unlike the Vi pick. In response, I now take advantage of my Karthus flex pick, deciding to send him to a solo lane and directly counterpick the Vi with Kindred, who is also on theme with the rest of my team, playing with range and enjoying having Vi run into her. Lastly, I end my blue side draft with a direct Scion counterpick in the Alawi. Yes, this champion is off theme with the rest, but I made an exception this time around. It is clear that Alawi will have a free scaling lane into the Scion, and nobody will be able to match her in side lane mid and late game. With my remaining four champions thriving in poke and engage protection, they will likely be able to hold the 4v4 while Alawi crushes the side lane. Red side finishes their draft with a Silas pick into Karthus, which does have some kill potential inside the early lane, but this is a pro team on red side. It can safely be assumed that he will play safe and farm for 30 minutes, expecting to outscale Karthus and crew. Even if I really wanted to, I could even send Karthus top into Scion and have him start Cole, giving him an absolutely free lane to scale, and Silas would even struggle into the Alawi. This draft firstly shows the power of flex picks, as I first picked Karthus while never really having the intent of sending him jungle. I knew enemy team would lock Vi, Wukong, or another similar dive champion. It also displays the importance of having matching champion modes and themes in your drafts. Your picks want to have similar playstyles, so it will be easy to coordinate mid and late game situations. Thanks for watching, see you next time.